All right, so we're gonna take the uh, keepers and lap a valve today. Tool that I made. Make sure how it works. I'm gonna find a nice spot to bolt it onto. Bolts don't have to be tight, just as long as they're in there. <clears throat> this one articulates left to right. So we're gonna pick a valve. We got uh let's pick this one right here. First, let's take off the bumper. This is a Toyota 2.5 liter. So if you notice right here, the angle isn't quite right for that bolt and see how this goes down. So I'm gonna move this one step closer. Just a standard little nut and bolt here. So this pushes down like that. So it uses the force so what I'm going to do now to prevent the valve from falling down when I do it is get a little rag. Just put a little rag underneath the valves. Nice and firmly. So the valve doesn't fall down and the keepers come up. Just like that. I want to do a, a different valve. So I want to do the ones over here. I don't have to re-bolt it on every single time. I can just extend this out. Find a nice length. What right there should work. And do the same thing. So it comes up. Take those out of the way. Do that one more time. And just try apply a little bit of force. And they come out. Just like that. Now to put them back on. this back in. This one works better than the other tools out there because this one has <clears throat> a lateral articulation from that joint right there. You go side to side and get whatever angles I want uh, so you can work with many different styles of heads. Let's put those keepers out. Keep her stuck in there. There we go. Those are the keepers. Now, if I want to turn this around, I can, because I made it out of a couple of three eighths extensions. Just holds down nice and easy. And I put the keepers in. For more stability, you can uh, attach or screw the head onto a plate so the head doesn't move. But uh, just for this video purpose. Put the bumper back on. Yeah. This tool makes it so much easier. This tool, you can also do it without removing the head from the block. What I do is a little trick. I take out the spark plug and I'll throw in some 3 8 inch rope, nylon rope. And I'll bring the piston up 
at the top dead center of the cylinder and that hold the rope holds the valves up so you can remove the valves um, the, the valve keepers and the springs to replace the valve stem seals no compressor needed at all okay we're gonna um, lap the valves today I'm going to show you a better way of doing it instead of using the old uh, the suction cup method, kind of like uh, the uh, the fire starter method that just slips. It's really annoying. I stopped doing that about 10 years ago. So here's the valve. As you can see, it's got the carbon buildup and stuff. So we're going to uh, put a little oil on the stem. Don't put the oil on the end right here. Just on the stem for the guides. that a little bit of a valve grinding compound right here get it from AutoZone at six bucks so instead of using the uh, stick style suction cup method we're just gonna use a regular drill and a piece of uh, uh, sometimes I'll use vacuum line this is actually a line for the washer fluid it's going to Lock it in. If you come around this side, on this side over here, you see, I'm just gonna pop this right on the end. You see how it spins. Put a little bit of oil on the tip of my finger yeah, to the right pressure. Good so far. A little bit more pressure so it stops spinning. There we go. A little more of the lapping compound. Just a little drop. That's all you need. This will help raise your compression. In here, it's getting better all the time. If you're using the uh, pushing in and pushing out, it puts the lapping compound back where it needs to be. As the pitch goes up, you're actually uh, pressing out some of the lapping compounds, not doing as well as it should. So. Sounding pretty good. You just pull this guy back off. All I'm doing is attaching it to the valve and doing a slight pull as I spin. Wipe off some of that grinding compound. See, nice and gray all the way around. Remove that carbon buildup. That's how it looks in the seat. Looking, looking pretty good in there. Nice and gray all around with carbon buildup. So now this is going to seat a lot better. You just go down the line so no more of the uh, holding the head upside down and trying to work your way down like you're trying to start a fire with the suction cup 